butterfly method ay isang shortcut o madaling paraan para tayo ay makapag-add and subtract ng mga dissimilar fractions. So, simulan na natin. So, ang ating first example ay 1 fourth plus 2 sevenths. So, paano natin gagamitin ang butterfly method? So, una, Mag-draw tayo ng wings ng ating butterfly. Okay? So, ito muna ang una. So, imumultiply natin sila. So, 4 times 2, gawa tayo ng antena. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Sunod naman, itong kabila. 1 times 7, gawa tayo ng antena, is equal to 7. At sunod, gumawa tayo ng body o katawan ng ating butterfly. At i-multiply natin ang ating denominator. 4 times 7, that is 28. So again, saan ang galing si 8? Minultiply natin si 4 at si 2. Saan ang galing si 7? Minultiply natin si 1 at 7. Saan ang galing si 28? Minultiply natin si 4 at si 7. Then, proceed na tayo sa ating operation. 7 plus 8. All over ang ating denominator na 28. Ngayon, i-add na natin. 7 plus 8 is equal to 15. All over 28. Pwede pa ba natin itong i-simplify or i-lowest term? Wala na siyang GCF. So, ito na ang ating final answer. Kumuha pa tayo ng iba pang halimbawa. 2 thirds plus 3 fourths. So, again, gamitin natin ang butterfly method. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. 2 times 4 is equal to 8. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. So, gawin natin ang operation. 8 plus 9 all over 12. So, what is 8 plus 9? The answer is 17 all over 12. Dahil ang ating fraction na sagot ay improper, babaguhin natin ito at gagawin natin mixed number. So, meron tayong video kung paano natin ito ginagawa. Pero ngayon, gawin natin ng mabilisan. So, 17 divided by 12. So, 1 times 12 is 12. 17 minus 12 is 5. So, ang 17 all over 12 ay katumbas na 1 and 5 all over 12. So, ibig sabihin, si 2 thirds plus 3 fourths is equal to 1 and 5 all over 12. Gumawa pa tayo ng iba pang halimbawa. 4 fifths plus 2 all over 9. So, gamitin natin ang butterfly method. 5 times 2 is equal to 10. 4 times 9 is equal to 36. 5 times 9 is equal to 45. Proceed na tayo sa ating operation. 
36 plus 10 all over 45. 36 plus 10 is equal to 46 all over 45. So again, dahil improper ang ating fraction dahil mas mataas ang numerator kesa sa denominator, kailangan nating mag-divide. 46 divided by 45. That is 1 times 45, 45. 46 minus 45 is equal to 1. So, ang ating sagot para sa ating uh, ina-add na fractions ay 1, ito yun, and 1 all over 45. Ngayon naman ay gamitin natin ang butterfly method sa subtraction. 3 fourths minus 1 half. So, same lang ang ating procedure. I-multiply natin si 4 at si 1. That is 4. Next, si 3 at si 2. That is 6. At sunod ay si 4 at 2. That is 8. So, let's proceed to the operation. 6 minus 4 all over 8. 6 minus 4 is equal to 2. All over, copy the denominator, 8. Dahil ang ating sagot, ay pwede pang i term, isi-simplify pa natin ito. So, pareho natin silang pwedeng i-divide kay 2. Dahil 2 ang GCF ng 2 at 8. So, 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1 all over 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. So, ang 3 fourths minus 1 half ay katumbas ng 1 fourth. Isa pang halimbawa para sa subtraction. 4 fifths minus 3 tenths. So, same process pa rin tayo. Let us multiply. 5 times 3 is equal to 15. 4 times 10 is equal to 40. And then, 5 times 10 is equal to 50. So, let us now proceed to the operation. Let us copy 40. Ang operation ay minus 15. All over the denominator, 50. So, let us now subtract. 40 minus 15 is equal to 25. All over 50. So, ang ating fractions dito ay pwede pa natin simplify. So, saan ba or ano ba ang GCF ng 25 and 50? So, si 25 and 50 ay may GCF na... 25. So, i-divide natin sila pareho sa tag 25. So, 25 divided by 25 is equal to 1. 50 divided by 25 is equal to 2. So, ang sagot para sa 4 fifths minus 3 tenths is 1 half. So, tatandaan ang butterfly method ay maaaring gamitin sa addition and subtraction of dissimilar fractions. Dissimilar fractions kapag magkaiba ang ating denominator. So, yun lamang po at maraming salamat. Nawa, meron na naman tayong bagong natutunan.